the more we listen to Death Grips, the more our soul and mind gets disembodied and disemboweled. Fuck it, I fucking watch it, you fucking peasant! You always go crazy towards the end of Death Grips albums, don't you? Well, here's the thing. Yes. Couple of smackaroos, 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 Just don't fuck me! Just don't touch me! Fuck me, yeah! <laughs> <coughs> oh shit! Oh, oh shit! What's up? We're Jungle Beats. I'm Alexander Sandalus. I'm Alexander, man. You guys wanted us to say us say our names, so we're saying our names. We expect ninety nine thousand followers now on every platform. <laughs> um, we reviewed the moon. The moon. No, we <laughs> reviewed the moon. It's quite blue. It's quite. It's crescent today. It's quite big for a moon. You know. But uh, it's cheesy. Have you listened to the moon since? No, I haven't listened to any Death Grips album since what? reviewing it. Not I've, a listened, one. I've listened to the moon probably four times. And okay. It's grown me a lot. I really, I think it's it's definitely the most cohesive work. Because start to finish, it flows yeah, well. Agreed. And all the sounds are very similar. Agreed. And also, uh, Bajorki is a woman. Yeah. Thanks for correcting us on that, guys. Thanks for the twenty comments saying that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're we're doing Jenny Death now, mm -hmm. continuing our um, sixth Death Grips review part two. We chose not to do Fashion Week as uh, a lot of people said it was. I think more instrumental and it was also kind of a troll album because and it also this is part two of the album so it makes sense to listen to the other half the album after it so if you really want to do fashion week we'll go back to it but for now we're just continuing forward jenny death second part of powers that be the first track is i break mirrors with my face in the united states <laughs> Break mirrors in the face of the United States. Something like that. I love that. That um, I love the high, the the kick of the drums. That throughout the whole song really gets me. It's really like feels like rock and roll inspired a little bit. And the way they switch it up towards the halfway um, keeps it fresh. There was a there was a lot to take in there. Like I'm trying to remember like each sort of the way the instruments were sort of displayed and put, but like my brain's just like too much of a clusterfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. I love that drum, man. Those drums. Um, I didn't really hear too many lyrics besides this title name, similar to the very first track of yeah. Moon. Uh, I like the instruments. I like the, yeah, I like, like, I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is fucking cool. Oh, a plane, plane taking off. off. Yeah, but like a fucking techno plane. <laughs> Woo! Look at that, just strip it all back. Oh, Take it all away. This is fucking tough. Yeah. And you In the animated shit, son! Hey! See you at the six! No, so, so good! Hey! Turn by me! I wanna become ready, true! See you! I remain! In animated shit! I wanna become ready, true! Yeah! I like it! Five different songs in one. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like we're meditating now. So you can meditate both on. Thank you. 
That was pretty sick. That was fucking cool. Very sonically in your face and intense. Very pleasing. And a lot of a lot of different change ups too. Mm, many, many. The but start. they came back to the original yeah. ones and built on it. The start was sick. The way that it sort of like started with just the vocals and then it had the, the synths, then it put them together and the drums came in. And then the switch up to that to just the heavy pounding bass drums. The vocals really raw, really in your face, like you said. That was a dope track. That was a really cool track. That was a lot better than the first track. And I imagine they made it so long just to have that effect, mm. that intense in your face effect. It really emphasized it because it just keeps repeating like on loop. you were fucking with that that's one of my favorites how fucking good was that bro jenny death so far is 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 it's quite different very different from niggas on the moon but i felt very rock and roll inspired so far right if you strip back all the vocals i feel like that could be like a wolf mother song you know wolf mother well yeah, you know, you're like a woman you know they made that song you gotta see a woman. I mean, I don't know who Wolfbother is, I just, I just don't think this sounds anything like them. Not this. <laughs> the rock, strip it all back. Just the, the, the drum beat and the guitar. You don't have to agree. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I feel. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't agree, but that's don't cool. Don't agree, it's great. <laughs> yeah, don't cool, agree. man. That's cool. <laughs> hey, as Kanye says, we're all in right to our free speech and free thinking, so, you know. Dude, you've dragon bondage with me. Dragon energy, baby. Drag we have you. dragon energy. We have dragon. Me and Kanye that and Trump have dragon energy. That track was awesome. Like I said, the fucking, the live fucking gritty fucking gritty. dark. Oh, it's gritty. Dark guitar. It was yeah. fucking. Mm. And then the fucking the drums is fucking the cymbals going. Get animated, yeah. Oh, that shit. And his vocals were just so fucking rough. Rough. Oh, uh, tough. Gritty. Fucking dirty. It was it was a good track. That was a really cool track. I Great enjoyed track. I enjoyed every part of that. Why a bitch gotta lie? They bitches, bro. Yeah. 
now know why bitches lie. So, Do you? Because I have no idea. <laughs> After everything MC Wright said there, I now have a grasp of why bitches lie. No, we've never... Heard. This is the most refreshing. Like, sixth project in, and this is... Yeah, this is definitely, like, the most different, like, in a while. Do you reckon it's because we're a lot more used to Death Grips now, or do you reckon it's because you're really enjoying the rock influence through this album? Both. Like, the Transformer shit, the, with the voice manipulation? Mm. I, I don't remember them ever doing that. Um, Not a whole song. No, I don't have much memory of them doing that. And I feel like with even Money Store and a few of the other... Like tracks in the albums have been as crazy as they have on this album, but I don't feel like they've done it in the same manner because the the rock influence throughout this album they haven't done that really for a whole album. So but yeah, that was fucking, great. That was fucking sick. It was a really good song. Could have been maybe a minute shorter, but other than that, it's cool. I ain't got no qualms. You got no qualms? Yeah, I like the word qualms. It's like kumquat or cucumber. Qualm. Cucumber. Or squash. They all have Q's in it. The perfect pitch I'm C singing. Cucumber doesn't have a Q in it. Quinn is set to survive and he'll come to compete. Mick Jenkins. That was a good track. I liked a lot about it. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. I don't think they're ready to know. They're not ready, man. They're not, y'all ain't ready. They ain't ready for it. For the name of that dog. You ain't, you ain't ready for it. We have to get a million likes to tell you the name of that dog. Yeah. The powers that beat. This is the title track. Whoa. It's crazy. Fuck. Just wait till we hear it. Fucking VB's a good beer, mate. Fucking... Oh, fuck. Fucking ah, hell. Yeah, shit, big, 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 big,
Sums up like the whole Jenny death so far. <sighs> that, that thing. That's probably one of the best tracks so far. I'll put the second track. I think the second one I really liked, but that one was real fucking good. Their vocal performance so far oh. has been very good. It just matches the the, the, the fucking energy of the, the back of the track behind it so fucking well. Like the fucking heavy, I don't know what the fucking instrument was, the. Man, if you would have said to me I'd be reviewing music like this two years ago, I'd be like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about, man? This ain't Those music. fucking heavy fucking drums again. Oh, and the, that fucking, oh. These tracks are pretty long, oh. though. Shit. Man, I reckon Danny Brown would have to listen to this man's music. Yo, shout out to Stephen Contreras. He just pledged $10 on Patreon, man. All love. We'll be shout out, man. We'll be reviewing your music soon, brother. Thank you, man. Patreon, get on it, and we give you a gift. <laughs> Probably the first track I haven't liked a lot. I think. So long. It's just so I feel like a lot of the tracks have been really long though. I don't know. I liked I liked parts of that song, like the bit where it's more drum heavy. It's I think it's because the the guitar influence through this track I didn't like as much because it had more of a techno feel. No, it had more of a, the guitar was more country like to me. I know it sounds weird because the track does sound country at all, but the mm. the type of the guitar they used was very more country or more indie like whereas the other tracks been more heavy rock and the bass has been more prominent whereas this track the bass wasn't as prominent and it was stripped back a lot so i think that's the reason why i didn't like this track as much maybe 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 that's a good observation well, maybe maybe <laughs> you always go crazy towards the end of death grips albums don't you well here's the thing yes centuries of a dam of centuries of dam centuries of dam oh dude does that mean that the album Damn by Kendrick Lamar has been out for a century and they released this album in the future. Oh, you cracked the fucking Da Vinci Code, man. <laughs> You're a wizard. Harry! I'm not a wizard! <laughs> I'm a what? How do you feel about this guitar? More rock. Tracks for like 10 minutes, eh? They're really not. They're actually like... It feels longer for Death Grips, I think. <laughs> I wonder Honestly, why that is. it's 5 minutes 30, right? We can sit through a super like good rap song for 5 minutes 30, man. You're saying this isn't super good? No, I'm saying this because we don't hear the lyrics. 
hard to do with gay. I never, I never hear this. Um, Get ready. Look, I reckon if this Juni death was a little shorter, you know, it could be more um, appetizing for me. I feel like 12 tracks is good. It's just each track's like six minutes. Either way, it's shorter in some way. And it's harder to digest this way. And death groups, like, it's just... It just really takes a toll when you're just trying to focus on everything going on. This is definitely, for sure, one of the more chaotic albums we've heard. Because I feel like... What? I feel like... I feel like... <laughs> I feel like after the money store, like I'm no, sorry, I'm no sorry. love, no, I'm listening. No love, deep web, and um, the moon and government plates weren't as chaotic as the money store, and this is probably the most chaotic one since. Yeah, that's why we said before, like the most refreshing, the most engaging in a while. Mm. Par these last couple tracks, I've been yeah. a bit hit and miss. I wasn't a big fan of the last one. The, I mean, the one before the last one, but the last one we heard then, I liked it. But as it grew on, it kind of got a bit stagnant. So. Yes. It got a bit stagnant. It was kind of... Good. I did like the estranged sort of guitar and the like the, the kind of like it was just grinding on you the whole time. So there's a lot of good things to... The Pillow King does not take poos kindly. It's my own kind. I do not like that. I'm the Pillow King. I'm the Pillow King. the most tame so far. This part right here. This is like regular. It doesn't even sound like death groups. But then what does death groups sound like? I feel like I'm at like a fucking Viking table like fucking with beer just like you know what? Like around a table with like Vikings just like eating and drinking beer and just like having meat just like Ugh. Oh, that, that sounds like it's fucking yeah. raping and pillaging oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some of that shit, huh? They're going in different women It's probably not the best time to be alive <laughs> For a woman But for a Viking for a probably, Viking, You probably huh? live till about 27 Yeah, yeah once again, again strip her back I like it. This is a really good track. Oh. Transitions right in. That was a... Uh... That's going to be one of my favorite tracks again. That was crazy. I've never heard them sort of sound over that. They really like minimalized a lot of the instrumentals on certain right, parts of the track. Right, they stripped it back, reset it, stripped it back, reset, yep. Yeah, it's really interesting because a lot of the rock elements that you're hearing through this album, well, to me, are lots of different type of genres of rock or different types of genres which include um, guitar and drums. They're implementing that through track by track in different ways. And on this track here is like fucking dope. Probably definitely one of the best tracks in this album. It might be my favorite over time. Really fucking cool track. It's like someone's changing the channel constantly. It's like... <laughs> Way different to what we just heard. Yeah. This is 2.0. Maybe this is like introduction to the next album. Yeah, maybe. So, bottomless pit. Yeah. Bottomless pit was next after this. Hey, Bond was pushed next. Can't wait. That's the one everyone talks about. Can't wait to be done with this shit. This is a good album. No, I'm not, I, don't mean this, I don't mean shit. I mean just, just this whole death grip as a whole. <laughs> That's not these fucking... Look at like a tambourine really quickly. And those fucking snares yeah, like, just like... Imagine you're on the treadmill trying to run this shit in the morning. You're in the treadmill just like... Bro. It's like... Fucking! It'd be fucking 10 seconds. Fucking. <laughs> fucking. It'd be it's just one giant. I came in point zero zero four seconds. Feels like a video game once again. I got a lot of video game vibes from this album. Feels like you're in like a fucking a dungeon, but like 
everything's really colorful. That's a great point. It's like you're on drugs and you're in a dungeon and everything's trying to kill you, but everything trying to kill you is not even really real. <laughs> fuck. Fuck yeah, I fucking watch it, you fucking peasant! <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I'm the Pillow King, I'll be treated with respect. Only pillows get love and respect from me. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this pillow later on. I'm gonna fuck it right now. I'm gonna fuck this pillow. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna be normal. Ah, those death grips are Jenny Death and in total, the powers that be. That concludes our reaction review to the powers that be. However, to summate that track, the most different on the whole album. Yeah, I feel like if a bottomless pit is the next album, then that's probably going to intro onto that with the sounds that they might be using because from what we've heard is Bottomless Pit is one of their most chaotic albums, if not their most, and that track there was pretty fucking sporadic and, and like fucking you, the, crazy. Like, it, like you said, the arcade video game vibes. Yeah, I legit felt like I was in a video game, I was in a dungeon, except I was on drugs and everything, like the wall, like bats, whatever, everything was like trying to hurt me, but then nothing could hurt me because nothing was real. That's that's exactly what I, that's, that's what I was imagining listening to that. Is that what you guys are imagining? Or you're imagining getting fucked by a, a Kelpie. Pillow. What? Pillow Kelpie. A Kelpie on top of a pillow. Isn't a Kelpie a dog? Yeah. That's weird, bro. <laughs> well, maybe they're imagining it, man. You can't think they're... Dude, if they're into bestiality, then that's cool, man. Actually, that's not cool. That's fucked up, look, guys. Look, that's look, really fucked look, up. If you want to... Are you ready? Are you ready to dive down this hole? <laughs> because we've talked about... <laughs> well, dogs um, do dive holes. We've talked about baby dicks and rabbis <laughs> sucking baby dicks. If you're a Patreon... Well, I didn't talk about it. You talked about you'll it. You'll know about this. Some people would watch you be like, what the fuck? Put your headphones in, kids. Why don't your parents listen to well, this? Well, what do you mean put their headphones in? That means they can hear it still. So other people don't hear it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, man, to, to some mate, um, Journey Death, definitely my preferred part of Powers That Be. Mm -hmm. The most um, refreshing Death Groups album I've heard in a little bit. And definitely love, love the guitar and rock and roll instrumentation. One of my favorite projects of Death Groups in entirety. Are you going to go back to it? Um, probably not. <laughs> Because like you gotta understand the the the, perspe the perspective of the, how I listen to music. <laughs> so good. It's not how I listen to music. <laughs> like I'm just gonna let me put some fucking death grips on and just do some fucking work or lift some weights and run. It's just not how I do shit. So go ahead, man. Um, I'll see you in half an hour. I can't make a decision yet if I like this more than the moon. Don't make it. <laughs> no fucking hell. Which one? <laughs> I see it. I look pretty good tonight. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, fucking rate it out of 10. I give this moon a fucking strong 6 out of 10. Could be a light 7. <laughs> but, um, but no, I thought, I feel like they're such different albums, yet probably together they make a lot of sense. So I'm going to give, this, I've given the moon a lot more listens, and I've grown to love it quite a lot. You can't hear the moon, bro. It doesn't make a sound. <laughs> and I'm going to give this album some more listens and spin it out. Because I got, yeah, I, li I like the rock. Fuck up. <laughs> I love the I love the rock influences all over this album. Like mm, I said, yeah. different different guitars. No, serious, bro. The rock influences. Different, different drums. There's rocks in the moon too, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cheese up there. Fucking taste and like fucking. Oh, man, Tui up in there whipping up the sauce. Holy with the, shit! With the chef, oh man. shit! It's getting rid of so as you can, the more we listen to Death Grips, the more our soul and mind gets disembodied and disemboweled. I don't know the difference. Maybe they're the same. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna get back to this album. I thought it was. Pretty dope. There was definitely like every Death Grips album for me. A few moments on there where I was kind of bored or stagnated, but that's yep. honestly every Death Grips release. Every time I go back to Death Grips album, I end up growing to love four or five tracks a lot, and then growing to not really like the rest. Except for the last album, Moon. Honestly, start to finish, I can listen to it in total. But it's weird because there's not a single track in there I really love. It's weird. It's the one I can probably listen to the most start to back, but there's no tracks that really stand out. It's 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 a really weird. It's, it's, it's a peculiar notion, a very peculiar thing. So, um, we re we always release these early guys, these uh, reaction reviews early on our Patreon. So I know a lot of you love these Death Grips reviews. So if you want to see them early be before the rest of the world, um, you can by supporting us on Patreon for like a couple of dollars, like a cup of coffee. A couple of smackaroos! Yeah, what he said, per month. So, um, you know, fuck with us. You know, so you know like, dogs go wacko for smackos. <laughs> Did I have smackos in America? Oh, probably fucking not, eh? <laughs> <laughs>
Smackers <laughs> are a dog treat for those who don't know. Yeah, so um, instead of smacking your bitch, you feed it a fucking treat. <laughs> that could be it. <laughs> that could totally be a fucking satirical, <laughs> you know, like play on smackos. I think it is. No, it could be if like you were a satirical like, comic writer. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I am. I uh, actually am. First stand ups are uh, 2028. 20, it's going to be called What is a Pillow to a Person That Isn't a Thug? It's going to follow up after my album. It's my album from Pillow King of 2027. Shut your face. 2027, and my com- comedical route will come out a year after that. So to follow that up, and then um, I'm going to become president uh, after Kanye, of course, and then I'm going to suck my own dick. Oh, no, man,